Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of straight lines. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us to find the distance between the two points A and A dash, which lie on the line Y equals to two, such that the two line segments AB and A dash B where b is the given point to us that is 2 comma 3 and they have also told us that both the line segments subtend an angle of pi by 4 that is 45 degree at the origin 0 comma 0. So we have to find what is the distance between the two points a and a dash that is the question asked to us and if I talk about the answer choices that are given to us here the answers are 10, the second option 48 by 5 third option 52 over 5 and the last option 3. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question given to us. So let's try to solve this question. So if I try to solve this question first, let's understand. I have a point B 2 comma 3 given. So if I draw my Y and X axis, let's say this is X axis and the Y axis and I have my point, let's say 2 comma 3 somewhere here. So that is my point B, 2 comma 3. Then they have also told us A and A dash are the two other points which lie on the line Y equals 2. So if this is 3 and this is 2, I have my line Y equals to 2. Now once I have my line Y equals to 2, I know that there are two points A and A dash on this line. So let's say this is point A which is X comma 2 and let's say somewhere on the other side of b we have a dash which is again x comma 2. so x here is a positive value and here x would be any other negative value so let's figure out and we have also been told that this line segment a b and line segment a dash b they make an angle of 45 degree at the origin so if i see this if I join all the three points with the origin I understand this idea that between this two at the origin I have an angle of 5 by 4 made and between this two also at the origin point I have an angle of 5 by 4 made so if I know that the acute angle between the two line segments are present we can use our formula which is known to us here that says tan theta is mod of m1 minus m2 over 1 plus m1 into and with the help of that if i find the slopes of the lines so let's say this is m1 this is m2 so if i find the slope of line oa m1 that is y2 minus y1 because the origin point is 0 0 over x2 x minus x1 and you get that as 2 over x same thing if you do for OA dash also, it's going to come same 2 over x because we have this x coordinate here as taken x value. So we will get some different values for x. So here we are taking that as x1 and let's say this is x2. And m2 is my second slope that is given by again y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I have that second slope also known that is 3 over 2. Once I have the two slopes with me, if I put that in the formula, I know acute angle made between the two lines is tan pi by 4 is equal to m1 minus m2 or I can write that as 2 over x minus 3 over 2 which is 1 plus m1 m2 m2 so 2 over x into 3 over this entire thing is equal to 1 so if I solve for this I get 2 over x minus 3 over 2 upon this becomes 1 plus this 2 and 2 gets cancelled so you get 3 over x is equal to 1 and where do you get this 1 from it is nothing but tan of 45 degree so tan of 45 degree we know it is equal to 1 so if I equate this and if I take out the mod and solve this further let's see what you get so you get 4 minus 3x over 2x over x plus 3 over 2 x plus 3 over x and if I'm removing the mod here I get plus or minus 1 so if I solve for this I can cancel out this x on both sides 
So what you get here is 4 minus 3x over 2x plus 6 is equal to plus or minus 1. So if I take the two ratios and equate it, 4 minus 3x over 2x plus 6 is equal to 1. Or you get that as 4 minus 3x over 2x plus 6 equals minus 1. If you solve for both of the ideas, let's see what I get. So 4 minus 3x is 2x plus 6. And the other one, it gives you 4 minus 3x is minus 2x and minus 6. So if you solve for this, you get 5x equals minus 2. So x is minus 2 over 5. So one value is this for x that we get. And the other value, if I figure out 3x minus 2x, and it is 4 plus 6, so 10. So you get two values of x. One is 10, the other is minus 2 over 5. And from there, you get the two points, 10, oh, 10 comma 2, and this is minus 2 over 5 comma 2. Now, once I have the two points A and A dash with me, I just need to figure out A, I got in this case is 10, oh, 10 comma 2, and A dash was minus 2 over 5 comma 2. Once I have the two points with me, I know the distance between the two points is given by the formula root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1. So if I want to find the distance of a and a dash, it becomes x2 minus x1. So you get x2 in this case was minus 2 by 5 minus 10 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 which is 2 minus 2 in this case. So you get this turning out to become minus 2 minus 50 so minus 52 over 5 the whole square plus 2 minus 2 which is 3 so if you see that you get that as 52 square over 5 square because negative square is positive once you get that root of 52 over 5 the whole square it's 52 over 5 so you get the answer for the question that turns out to become 52 over 5 and that is the distance between the two points a and b dash and if you see the answer choice that matches here with the question, it is option C. So C becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of using the concept of straight lines. So first, with the help of using the acute angle between the two lines, having slopes M1 and M2, we know the formula tan theta is mod of M1 minus M2 over 1 plus M1 into M2. With that, we got the two slopes. Before that, we got the x coordinates of points A and A dash. And once we got that, we just found the distance between the two points using the distance formula, and that comes out equal to as option C. So C becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And if you're enjoying these videos that we're doing every day, please do like the videos as well. Also. Do share these videos with your friends who are involved in the preparation of questions on JEE so they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Also subscribe to my channel. See you tomorrow with another video. Thank you.